What do you do for Veronica? What do you do behind locked doors? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with the mystery hour. I want to do at least two episodes tonight to sort of catch up with it, and we'll start posting these on YouTube next week. Unless you're watching this on YouTube now, in which case we'll start posting it on YouTube this week. In any case, when last we left off, we said we were going to go after a certain treasure map. Let's get moving. I've come to realize a couple of things. Perhaps these ice uh, fire things, the reason why we're supposed to take pictures of them isn't because of them, but because of possibly following a trail of footprints around, like glowing footprints that we can only see in photos. It's a possibility. But right now, I'm very interested in this uh, map. It's nice and warm in here, hell yeah. So... This is the wrong thing. We need our documents. Treasure map. So, let's see here. Our main clue is that roundabout, that semicircle. That kind of tells us but if we actually check our real map, um, okay, there we go. Down here in Bedrard, that's the only semicircle I can really think of around here. So that's where we're gonna start, I guess. And from that, head north to Lanchette, I think is what it is. I don't know. We're going to take another look at this. There's a starting point. So, yeah, that is Lanchette, sort of, kind of. It's further north than Lanchette, huh? Is that a... It's so hard to see who who wrote this. Well, shoot. We're it supposed to start. Maybe that's a river. Okay, let me take one last look at the map. And I don't know what the six is or the nine. Okay, yeah, we're supposed to start at the tip of the river. So how about we start by heading over to that uh, little thingy right there. Also, where's my car? Surely my car isn't outside. I don't think that's where I left it. Here, do the truck just follow me? I mean, not that I'm complaining. Right. How about we not? Uh. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. Okay, 
we're gonna take a left here. Whoa, 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 slow the hell down, jeez. God, just because there are no cops around, alive, doesn't mean you can't be unsafe, Carl. It doesn't mean that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I guess we're gonna go around here. There we go. Huh. We'll get to the treasure map in just a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Uh, text. going on over here? Okay, well... Whatever. That's like just your truck, man. Yep, heading the right way. I'm gonna be taking a right. It's gonna curve around right and to the left, and that should lead us somewhat over to the right, the correct area at the right area. So we don't know if it's gonna be on the right or the left. It should be on the right. I mean, that's the only way left. That's the road to the land sheds. Huh. Hey, Doom lads. So, what are we going to do? Well, we're going after a treasure map. We're looking for treasure. So, alright. I guess we're going this way. And we're going to see if, see if we can find a place that's... Uh, capable for us to uh, warm up, save the game, be safe. Just like you, you should be safe too. When was the last time you saved your real life game? Whoa! Whoa! I have questions. No logs. We're gonna grab a log real quick. I think this is for logs as well. What? Is, oh man. Carl was becoming increasingly convinced that this was not normal hunting. The game that was being tracked was fearsome, so much so that the hunter didn't dare approach it. What could it be? It's a good question, narrator. Maybe it could be, say, the really crazy ice creature that's turning everybody into ice. Ooh, trash. I love trash. Can I step off the edge? Eh. That wasn't as dramatic as I wanted it to be. Hello, anyone inside? Let's knock on the front door. This is the Lanchette house. Warm up real quick. So, okay. We are in the Lanchette house. There's a cave over yonder, which is just to the north east of the Lanchette house should be where this map starts. No, it's... Yeah! 
Yeah, no, that's that's correct. So we want to head to the um What? I didn't click on you. There we are. So what we want to do is we want to head northeast and then go around huh. All right, let's give this a try. Also, you know, it's all I'm out and about. Just run downstairs real quick. There we go. Just gonna keep one log on me in case. And all right. I'm gonna head in that general direction on the other side of the house. It doesn't help that there's a thunderstorm going on outside my house right now. That's Actually, it seems to be making my, uh... Seems to be okay on my bandwidth. Weird. So this is roughly where the whole thing starts. Then I head, looks like northwestish across the street from roughly where I am to a tent. That's not what I wanted. head this way. Roughly. Roughly. Not, you know, smoothly. Or even vaguely. Just roughly. Treasure mapping. That was weird. Starter and matches. And a mysterious journal. <clears throat> page one. Ahem. Oh, there's a page change. Oh, good lord. Okay. Uh, the beast enjoys long slumber. Its sanctuary seems impregnable. Ice is everywhere. I need to exercise patience and wait for it to come out. To think like a hunter. The beast often invades settlements bordering the lake. It terrorizes the white people. I I don't think they actually mean the white people as in Caucasian people. It's starting to look like they mean white people as in the actual color white people. Like ivory white people. They never see it coming, but they feel its presence. A cold dread grabbing at your innards. The beast excites the wolves, makes them more aggressive. One attacked me. I had to cut its throat. The blade digging into its flesh made the sound of a taut wire. The beast is getting closer to the villagers. It moves at night, bringing heavy snow and strong gusts of winds along with it. I track it to no avail. I do not know the white, the white man frozen in ice. Wait, didn't we read this one? We've read this. We've read this. really weird. Yeah, we have read this. Ouch. 
sure. I'll grab the second one. That's really weird. Okay, well, where to next on this treasure map? So, we are kind of at where that beer shape thing is, which means we need to start heading towards the road and then along it. And then we turn right... Okay, we head south down the road, but then we turn right where the forest begins. Let's see if I'm reading this correct. Yeah, I'm kind of reading this correctly. Okay, well, let's continue on with our journey then. I think we're hot enough. Yeah, pretty plenty hot. And in fact, you know what? I'm feeling good about this. Let's throw back a beer. Yeah, it's 60. Glug, 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 glug. Toss. Um, uh, we just need to head that way. All right. Mm, maybe later. It's good to know that's there, though. There's that truck. Okay. It says to head this way until we hit the forest, but that is the forest, right? No, I think it means this forest. Yeah, and then we curve a little bit towards the south, kind of following the tree line. Wolves. That beer shapes looks like a gas pump. Not sure when to turn right. Oh, hell. We're way off. We passed it. Okay. Uh. There's the edge, so it should actually be around here somewhere. What's this look like on my map? Now, I'm in the wrong area again, but this is interesting, so let's take a look here. I'm good on heat. Huh. Well, I don't know what I expected. The treasure map is upside down. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. will hit the road. The road will hit that clearing. And then we kind of we take a right at the clearing. And we kind of head straight this way, roughly. Not that way, more like that way. I think it should be along the edge of the, rip, the lake's side. nothing else we're getting close to a camp we can warm up there a 
Oh, there's the camp. And that should be south of the camp. Don't mind if I do. And killers, matches. There we go. I'm up here a second. What? The wolf? Whoa! There are wolf tracks everywhere around here. Should be that way, ish. That doesn't look safe at all. Wait, wait, wait. Head back to the fire real quick. Let's take another look at this map, because we're really close. Okay, so more like... It's along the riverside. Kind of north... Kind of south... Southwest. So, like there-ish? Pile of stones. Hello. Are you treasure? Treasure map seven. Flare. I wonder what flares are for. Treasure map 7 kind of put it in that direction. Yep, there it is. Yay, indeed. Loading. Better not be treasure map eight. Fuck. That's north towards the, not the Lanchette house, but Polaroid film. Oh. Yeah, that's directly the way we're facing now. Take a closer look at that. Treasure maps, plural. Other side. Kind of that way. Although we might stop by this house first, because I think I'm getting a little cold. Yeah, let's stop by that house first. Have we been to this house? I don't remember it. It's not the Lanchette house, so that. It's Bedard's house. Okay. I mean, 
This is Canada. Okay, eh? Got a barn. Check that out. And a bicycle. Who would use a two bikes? And a lawnmower. I'm sorry, a snowmower. This place is awesome. Ah. No garbage. What kind of wasteful human are you? Oh, that's too easy. Oh, uh, sorry. Nope. Yeah. There we are. Well, let's start by lighting a nice warm fire. No loose change in the cracks. Alright, well, let's see what we're dealing with here. I had plenty of food. Enough food for rough times. Yeah, these guys were prepared. What's that? I can barely read it. There's La Bible. Religion was very influential throughout Quebec many years ago. Indeed, it was surprising that Carl did not come across a single chapel since arriving here. This house had a kid. How did they draw the sun? <laughs> That's a good question. Good Paul VI, appearing papal. His crooked fingers gave the impression he was about to bestow a miracle. That's what this place needed was a miracle. Didn't get one, did it? Not that I'm bitter. Mm -hmm. Carl. Professional raccoon and house ransacker. Do you need trash? <laughs> Do you need trash sorted through? Carl's on the case. All right, steak. Just gonna take your steak. I'm a steaker taker. Some matches. Oh, yeah, that that works too. Let's not forget, you entered a lock house and have a crowbar. The perfect cookie cutter Catholic family, most likely attending church every Sunday. What is it with this ra this giraffe? Who knew that giraffes thrived in the North Pole? The praise for toys was stupefying. Love of religion and ancestors was rooted deep inside the hearts of Canadians of old, to which the Bedards appeared to be closely related. Huh. Can't find a light for here. The empty cradle sent an eerie feeling down Carl's spine. As if minutes ago, someone just grabbed the baby and made a run for it. It's half expecting to find matches in the baby's room. Well, I'm saving electricity. Uh, oh, Jesus, it's dark in here. And no light switch. Dream catcher, bedroom. Carl wasn't desperate enough to invade a village woman's privacy. Uh, but I am! Carl wasn't desperate enough uh. to invade a village woman's privacy. Village woman? One. This is a bed for two. How do we know this is a woman's... Well, okay, this is clearly a woman's room. Dreamcatchers originated from First Nations legends. They were used to trap nightmares. Hey, there we go. Clock says it's, uh, I don't know, like, uh, 13 till 1. Kids room. Single mom. A growing kid. Looks like a little girl. And a baby. 
works of art from a future artist. We might have found the person who drew our map. I don't know why I'm going through this little girl's room. I'm going to find something. Uh, Mary's Diary, page one. How many pages are there? Oh, uh, strap in. August 16th. I have a diary, just like Mom. Unlike her, though, I don't wear a long face when writing, but I do love to write my thoughts. And about Martin, most of all, I love talking about him. I think he loves me, too, just like Romeo and Juliet. People don't like it when I see him, only because he's a bla bla blaze blaze blaze. Doom lad, you're you're Canadian. What's a blaze? But just like the story, nothing can stand in the way of true love. And I'm not keeping this voice up. This is starting to hurt. Hang on a sec. I gotta take this up. All right. August eighteenth. I lost appetite. I also, for, I also accidentally a word. I can't sleep anymore. Every waking hour, intense shivers run through my body. Dad makes me see Dr. Burp -pip with his big hands touching me everywhere, his foul breath exhaling over my face. Well, it looks like we gotta kill the doctor. Don't know, probably Qu Quebecian Indians. Okay. Yuck. I'm not sick. I'm in love. I love Martin so much. There's nothing I like better than think about thinking about us playing together like we always do. I wonder if he found the key I lost the other day. He was pretty sad when I did because it's for his dad's garden shed and Martin has always been afraid of him. I think Martin's dad is a bit like dad's god. The key fell in a burrow next to the shed. Poor Martin, he cried like a baby, but I still love him. August 24th. Mom often cries when she feels lonely. I think there's no reason for her to cry. Mom can be stupid sometimes. Dad works a lot because of the wealthy English man buying everything. That was, that's what notaries do. They make sure that people get what they're paying for, basically. It's complicated, but that's how Dad explained it to me. The rich guy doesn't look half as bad as Martin told me he was. When I saw him this morning in Dad's office, he told me, Call Uncle Willie! Uh, Call me Uncle Willie! Wow, that's just fucking disturbing. <laughs> I found the, I found that pretty funny. Plus, he gave me candy. Only it was the kind of old and dry, but, but still candy. I think Dad gets along well with Uncle Willie because he's w with him. He laughs the same way he does with Father Label. I googled it, and Bloss is a name? Hmm, alright. September 22nd. I had to gobble up Dr. Bribbler's horrible medicine. It wasn't candy, because if I hadn't, I would have made it I wouldn't have made it to Christmas, or so he said. I haven't seen Martin in weeks, nor did I go to school for that matter. Dad has been praying beside my bed every morning for a while now, and at bedtime too. Today he went hunting with Uncle Willie, and he told me to ask God to bless him in my prayers. I told God to tell him to stick it. I'm digging this voice for an eight-year-old girl. I think this has to do with the medicine that only the richest of rich can afford. Dad told me he'll be praying for Uncle Willie until the day he dies. Uncle Willie or Dad, it wasn't sure. It's a dangling participle. And that I should do the same. I'll dangle his participles. God, Father Label, and now Uncle Willie. I wonder when Dad finds the time to pray for Santa Claus. Santa needs real help. September 28th. How can Mom be so stupid? And she's getting fat, too. She cries like a newborn puppy all the time. It's so annoying. 
I came across Martin today. He seems pretty thin and maybe kind of dirty. He doesn't look as neat and as presentable as Uncle Willie. That's for sure. Yeah, this is getting been pretty goddamn creepy. So <laughs> let's let's recap. Uh, Uncle Willie, Dad. Uh, who the fuck, Uncle Willie. Who the hell is Uncle Willie? We gotta know, right? We gotta know who Uncle Willie is. It's not Hamilton. Oh my God, it is Hamilton. Okay, so Doctor Purple as. Uh, is probably the creepiest amongst these. Now, he's probably just a doctor. And she doesn't like the way that he's checking her out. Because I remember when I was a little kid, I was kind of like, okay, it's a little bit touchy-feely now that you're checking my heart pressure and whatever it is that you're doing with that really cold, round thing you put on my body, doctor. Like, maybe that's what actually what's going on. But the way this sounds and the way this room looks, like, this looks like a little girl's room. That's really fucking creepy. Now, Uncle Willie is a creepy name, but but honestly, Hamilton, he's a, he's a scumbag, but I, he doesn't strike me as that kind of scumbag. So, I don't know. <laughs> but there's a lot, there's a lot of ick in this house. Ah, <sighs> warm, warm, warm. Nice potable water. Let's check the, by the shed, see if we can't find that key. So much for this garden. Hmm. She said there's something in the wood shed. I can't suddenly ignore it. Something, something, ignore it. Darling, then he said. Now, baby, don't be stupid. Get this into your sweet head. There's nothing in the woodshed except maybe some wood. Hmm. Whoa. Hi there, buddy. I want to try something with you because you're kind of creepy. But... Maybe not. It was a guess. Alright, into the woodshed we go. It was a face totem. I wondered if it was pointing towards something. I mean, we got a talisman last time. Trash cans. I like trash cans. And straight rays. Oh, sorry. Those are wrenches. Alright, let's see what's in here. Nuts and bolts. Bolts and nuts. C4. Tools. Cleaning materials. A, a key. peculiar key indeed. Too small to fit in a door lock. What sort of miniature object was it meant for? Can we also uh, point out that there was beer in the same thing? Looks like someone hid their habits. I don't know, man. There we go. I'm a polite uh, trio of raccoons. Let me take a look at that key if I can. Small key. No further information. Where's Mary's diary again? Okay. Martin was sad. Okay, this little girl was sick. I think that's actually something that's been going on. So I'd love to know what was going on with Martin. Yeah. 
Uncle Willie. Yeah. This actually reads a little bit like a teenager. God. Just, I don't know. Maybe it was the way that I was reading it, but this doesn't strike me as an eight-year-old's vocabulary. Damn it. Am I going past this? I know he mentioned... I'm zipping through this, but I don't see anything about... I haven't seen Marvel. No. I could have sworn that I read some. He cried like a baby. Found a lost... I wonder if he found the key I lost the other day. He, she lost the key. An aging car was parked here. Hmm. Carl could picture the notary's heavy sedan with a huge back seat large enough to fit the whole family. It's her key. It goes to something in her room. Uh, one other thing that I want to check out, because we were just now looking at it, but uh, Mary's Diary and without the pictures, please. Okay, Sunshine, Hearts, 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 Ree Barnett. This strikes me. Okay, this is a this is a, a ten year old girl. This isn't eight. This is ten, eleven, or twelve. Um, yeah, this is the kind of stuff uh, uh, like uh, maybe eleven year old would be doing. Like just now getting into ooh love ooh boys, but at the same time still kind of childish, just on the edge there. Huh. What's in your room that needs unlocking? I hope those are socks. What is that? History. It's a history book. No. I don't see anything. She's got the biggest box bingo I've ever seen. How, how much? What is there involved in bingo? Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a teenager wouldn't have little cloth dolls like this. Not like this. And wouldn't be drawing things like this. Although I suspect this is the uh, girl that was drawing that map. What is she unlocking? I don't see crayons. I don't see anything. Also, I'm having flashbacks to my room because my place was just this messy too. Um, I'm kind of at a loss. We came across nothing that requires unlocking in here. And now that I have this key, I am the master of unlocking, but I've got nothing to unlock. Huh. TV's on the other side. Yeah, this person was sitting in... This is, uh, Mama's chair. She got up, would do stuff, and then would occasionally sit down and rock back and forth. Probably while waiting while baking was happening. I got nothing. This is weird. Sure, I'll take the Polaroid. There's something to unlock around here. Attach wire? Oh, what am I doing? Holy hell. That was some heavy thunder I just felt. Okay. Filling up on water. Uh, wrong one. I, 
I don't know why I'm drinking so much water. Uh, it's cold outside. I guess you, you just need more water. But I mean, I'm here, so why not? Do you know you can die from drinking too much water? Sure. It saturates your cells and starts pulling them apart. When that happens into your brain, your synapses can no longer reach each other, and basically your brain waterlogs. It's really interesting. It's probably one of the more interesting ways to die I've ever seen. Okay. We are at this girl's house. Uh, it is close to the... What? No, no, no. We gotta face that way and go that direction. All right, let's do it. You know, it occurs to me that if this was this little girl that uh, put this treasure map together... Oh man, X marks the spot. That's got to be where it is. Uh, that means that she was carrying around these wooden chests all over the place and... Another one? Treasure map 9. Huh. Okay. That's not too bad. I just wanted to point that out. Whoa, whoa, what? And she was a lot limber -er than Orb. She, she did a lot more frick. Okay, that's why it was going around in a circle like that, because there's like a whole bunch of junk to go around. Some idiot blocked it off with a fence. Who would put a fence here? Oh, another X. Huh. I wonder if that's where we're supposed to go. Do it one box at a time. Easy. We got another talisman. Oh no. Help me. I'm stuck. Huh. Gotta head roughly that away. Oh, wolves. Um, hi. You want some, you want some meat? Uh, no. Um, uh, give me just a second. Uh, equipment. There you go. You, you like some meat? Go get it. But a steak alone cannot subdue a starving stomach. An appetite comes with eating. What the? All right. <laughs> Where's the other box? Ah, another treasure map. Number 10. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Gotta go past Roy's place. Take that fire starter through my map. And, uh, good lord, I, I did not expect this to... to go on for this long. No, no. Not eight. 
Not nine. We're on number ten. Okay, I kind of see where it would be on the map. Right about that way. And we just may take a stop at that next house. After this loads. Warm up a little bit. God damn it. What's this over here? Looks like they're eating something. We'll just leave them alone. Ooh, a six pack. Hell yeah. Got these matches. Got that bottle of beer, which I think it's time for. Throw back a bottle of beer. Glug, glug, glug. Huh. That was good. Have another. Smash! Another! Hmm. Let's see. About right there is where we want to be. next to the roadside. There's the other house. I don't think we've been there yet. There's the box. Oh man, I was dead on. Can this end now? Can we stop this? Oh my god. My sweet Mary. If you're holding this letter, it means you have figured out every puzzle. Congratulations! You will be happy to know that we can bring these treasures back to Mr. Roy. My father will tell you that... My father would tell you that you fear the good Lord too much. Oh, it's in, in French, too. And it's got a gun. If he was to venture deep into the woods, carrying a flare gun definitely wouldn't hurt, Carl assumed. At best, he could probably scare some beasts off. At worst, he was in for a nice little firework. Yeah. You know, I'd call that pretty good. So now we have three bullets and a regular gun. And we have a couple of flares and a flare gun. Actually, you know what? Oh, it's Roy's house. Uh, equipment... Two flare gun. Wait, no, we have more standard consumables? No. Inventory? No, that's documents, sorry. Two flares. I thought we had more than that. I guess not. So ultimately, though, we got five bullets. Bullets. Gun is in the truck. Oh, that's right, I did put it in the truck. And we're dealing with somebody with a dog. Everybody's got a wagon for carton wood. Makes sense this far north. And lumber, because lumber. Still no clue what that. Uh... Oh, yeah. Gimme. What is this? We fled. It was getting too dangerous. More people live in North M Manistan. It will be safer there. Genie Roy. Alright. Oh, I thought that was the light switch. I guess not. Oh, here we are. Alright. So, with that... We're at about 55-ish minutes, and I can't remember where I left the truck. Oh yeah, it's damn north. 
damn north. And, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and put a cut here for YouTubes while we're next to this. And we'll listen to this wonderful music. And, uh, yeah. Of course, it won't, won't continue to sound. Won't continue to sound. In any case, let's take a little break is what I'm saying. <laughs> 